What's up guys, Keenan here, back again to show you how to reconstitute your peptides and take your injections from your peptides. So, today we're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need your 31 gauge, 516 insulin syringe, 1 cc per syringe, or 1 milliliter. Did you guys know that 1 milliliter is also equal to 1 cc, which is also equal to 100 units? Why do they have to give us so many different measuring tools? Right, so confusing, I know. Also, something to know is each vial will have different milligrams per ingredient, right? So if this is TB500 with five milligrams, that means there's five milligrams total in the vial. Sometimes you'll get a 10 milligram vial or a 17 milligram vial or a 35 milligram vial, or a 50, or a 500. It's up to you to do the research and to find out what the proper reconstitution amount is per item. We also have a cheat sheet to kind of give you an idea, so let us know, or below will be the cheat sheet. Um, but ultimately, it's up to you to do your own research to find out what, how to reconstitute how to inject, what amount to inject, and things like that. Because at the end of the day, it's a completely research at your own risk, right? So, we need our 31 gauge 516 needle. This is our injection needle. We need a 29 gauge half inch needle. This is what we call our draw needle. If you order from Optimized Life, you will get uh, a draw needle and a package of 5 sixteenths 31 gauge insulin needles and a bacteriostatic water, okay? So if you order the bacteriostatic water kit, if not, you can always order them individually, all right? So now we're gonna need our peptide. So this is a 10 milligram vial. We are going to reconstitute with one milliliter of water, also known as 100 units of water. Sometimes the lids will have little metal pop caps, is what I like to call them. Follow the arrows, push with your thumbs to where it slowly, it, it partially opens. And then what I do is like a pop can, I'll just go back and forth and wiggle that until that metal pops off so that aluminum pops up, okay? So now, we have the metal is still around the rubber, and we have the rubber, and we have the vial. Now, we need to take the lid off of our bacterial static water, the same way. We get to use our 29 gauge, half inch needle. We're going to draw 100 units of air into the needle. We're gonna put that air into the water, and then we're going to turn the water upside down and draw 100 units of water into the syringe. Also equal to one milliliter, also equal to one cc. All right, once we have 100 units of water, we're going to find our vial. We're gonna look at the side, you're gonna see two little rubber pieces that go into the vial. We want to make sure the needle goes between the rubber pieces. We'll call it between the fill holes, okay? So what I like to do is put it at a 45 degree angle, push the needle into where it's facing the glass and not straight down into the powder. Okay, you want the water to run down the side of the glass, not straight into the powder. You'll notice sometimes the peptide will automatically start pulling the water in that's a good thing. Doesn't matter if it does or not, it's still good enough, good for you. So now, after we put the water into the vial, now we have to pressurize the vial. We have to balance the pressure in the vial. We have to create pressure on the inside of the vial so that it pushes the liquid out and into the needle. So how do we do that? Well. We pull air, 100 units of air, into the syringe. We go into the vial right in the middle between the field holes, and we let it pull the air into the vial. Oh my gosh, it sucked it right 
wind, that means it probably needs more air. So we're going to pull 100 units of water air. We're going to put it into the vial. We're going to let it suck the air in. Notice that it's doing it all by itself. Slow and slower. So this probably doesn't need as much air this time, so I'm just going to pull 50 units of air this time. And then I'm going to let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's not pulling any the plunger towards the, the vial anymore. So I'm going to push about 30 more units of air. Maybe the 50. I'm going to do the whole 50 units of air. All right, now I'm going to pull that out. Now it's pressurized to be able to draw the, the liquid out of the vial without a whole lot of time or weight. Okay, so now we let this vial dissolve by now. This one is completely dissolved and it's very, it's clear, okay? So, I'm gonna teach you how to make sure that you have a fresh needle every single time you inject. You can do this, you can load multiple peptides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to load one peptide, and then I'm gonna show you how to load multiple peptides. Sometimes we stack multiple peptides together. For instance, I might do thymosin alpha-1 with TB500, HGH, and terzepatide, right? So that might be my stack to inject today. If so, this is how we will reconstitute that, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our 10 units that's how much I do on a daily basis of thymus and alpha-1. You can choose research, do your own research, figure out what dosing is right for you. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 units of thymus and alpha-1. If I was gonna stop with that, I would transfer that to a 5 16th needle. I'm gonna show you how to transfer a whole shot. You can use it for singular or for multiple products, okay? so. Next, I'm going to add TB500. I got backwards on this. Next, I'm going to add TB500 here. Okay. So for me, that's also another 10 units. And this is actually a combination of TB500 and PPC157. So, I've actually put them both together in the same vial. You can do that as well. And then this is growth hormone. This is 25 units. Remember, everything is reconstituted different. Everything has its own dosing protocols. Make sure you follow whatever your coach or your doctor has recommended that you take. Drop 
drops pop out of the needle. It's not going to be that detrimental, but you can click it until you get all the air out. And boom. Okay. So that's how you load your shot. I'll show you in a minute how to take your injections.